In this video, we'll talk about set builder notation. How to answer questions on set builder notation. Okay? We have two questions here. Let's see the first question that we have. The set A, which is the set of numbers X, and X is an odd number. B is the set of numbers X, such that X is a factor of 60. And C, which is the set of numbers x, and x is a prime number. A, B, and C are subsets of the universal set, which is the set of numbers x, and x is a natural number less than 9. We are asked to find A, intersection B, B, complement intersection C, A, intersection B, intersection C, B, union C. Before we can determine each of these that we have here, let us first of all write out the members that make up each of these sets, all right? Now, we are given the universal set, which is the set of numbers x, such that x is a natural number and x is less than 9. It is this universal set that will be used to determine the element in set C, B, and A, because the universal set is the set that contains all elements or all numbers for a given problem. So let us first of all determine the elements in this universal set. For the universal set, x is a natural number and x is less than 9. Natural numbers less than 9 are from 1 to 8, since it is less than 9. Take note, natural numbers are counting numbers, and counting numbers start from 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. These are the elements in the universal set. Okay? Now, set A says x is an odd number. Okay? So what are the odd numbers in this universal set? We'll write them down to form set A. The odd numbers here include 1, 3, 5, 7. So A has the element 1, 3, 5, and 7. What about set B? B says X is a factor of 60. So what are the factors of 60 in this universal set? Factors of 60 include 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the factors of 60 in this universal set. Set C says x is a prime number. Prime numbers are numbers that can be divided by themselves and one only. So what are the prime numbers in this universal set? Take note, one is not a prime. Prime numbers in this universal set are two, 3, 5, and 7. Prime numbers only have two factors, the number itself and 1. These numbers are prime numbers. Okay? So, we can now go ahead and determine each of these that we are asked to find. The first one says A intersection B. For A intersection B, we have the set of all elements that are found in both A and B. That is what intersection is. What elements are in A and also in B? We have 1, 3, and 5. So this is 1, 3, 5. Okay, the second one says B complements intersection C. So what elements will form that set? To determine B complement intersection C, we need to know what B complement is. What element from the set B complement? Now, what is complement itself? The complement of a set, as we have here, set B, is the set of all elements that are in the universal set but are not in this set B. So, which elements are here that are not here? That forms the complement of set B. 
So let's determine complement of set B first. B complement will be this. So here, some elements are here that are not here, and they are seven and eight. Seven and eight. Now we can determine B complement intersection C. So this is B complement, this is C. The intersection of these two sets is the set of all elements that is found in both B complement and C. So which number can I see in C and is also in B complement? It's just seven. Seven is found in both. So here I have seven. What now is A intersection B intersection C as we have in the third one? A intersection B intersection C is the set of all elements that is found in A, B, and C intersection. What is common to the three sets? What is in set A that is in set B that is also in set C? Look very well. Three is here. Three is here. Three is also here. So three is there. Five is here. Five is also here. And five is here as well. Those are the only two numbers common to A, B, and C. What about B, union, C? To determine the union of sets B and C, we will combine all the elements together in both of the sets without repetition. Okay? So the union of two sets, or the union of two or more sets, is the set of all elements of both sets without repetition. So combine the elements in B and C together without repeating any one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have two, three, five, seven. Okay, so the union will now be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take note. Two appeared more than once. Two here, two here. Three also, three here, three here. Likewise, five. It appeared in both. But in the union, I'm not going to write it more than once. I'll write one element once. Okay? So this is it for this question. Let's see the second question that we have. All right. Question two says, given that the universal set which is the set of numbers x such that 5x minus 3 is less than or equal to 47, where x is a natural number. And the subset a, b, and c are defined as a is the set of prime numbers less than 10, b is the set of odd numbers less than 10, and c is the set of numbers x such that 5 is less than x, and x is less than 10. We are to find A intersection B, A union C, A union C prime, or A union C complement, and A intersection B complement. Before we can determine any of these, let us first of all write out the elements that are in each of the set, A, B, C, including the universal set. Before we can determine the elements in this set, this universal set, we have to solve this inequality first. Let's determine the range of values of x that satisfies this inequality. So let's solve it. 5x minus 3 less than or equal to 47. Collecting like terms, we have 5x less than or equal to 47 plus 3. The 3 will cross and turn to a plus. 47 plus 3 is 50. So dividing both sides by 5, we have it that x is less than or equal to 10. All right? We can write the universal set now as the set of numbers x such that x is less than or equal to 10. x is a member of the set of natural numbers.
Now, what we are given here says x is less than or equal to 10. Let's leave this equal to 10. Numbers less than 10 include 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, down to negative infinity. Okay, so we can't possibly write everything here. But there is a condition that we are giving. X is a natural number. Natural numbers are counting numbers starting from 1 down to positive infinity. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. So if S is less than 10 and X is a natural number, actually we are starting from 1 now, numbers less than 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, it says equal to 10. 10 will be part of it. So you must understand and know how to interpret set builder notation problems. All right? So x less than or equal to 10, and x is a natural number, we have all of these. So we can now determine the elements in the set A, B, and C. Set A says prime numbers less than 10. Now, whenever we are given the universal set, and we are given other subsets, the universal set is the set that contains all the elements for that given problem. All other sets, A, B, and C, will be gotten from the universal set. So, prime numbers less than 10, we are going to get them from this universal set. Prime numbers are numbers that can be divided by themselves and one only, two, three, five, seven. These are the prime numbers less than 10 here. Eight, nine, 10, they are not prime numbers, all right? Set B says odd numbers less than 10. So we know what odd numbers are, numbers that cannot be divided by two without remainder. So odd numbers less than 10 here include one, three, five, seven, and nine, odd numbers less than 10. We got them from this universal set. Set C is a set of numbers, x, such that five is less than x and x is less than 10, okay? Five is less than x and x is less than 10. So the numbers are in between five and 10, in between five and 10. 5 and 10 are not part of it. So numbers between 5 and 10, we have 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's it. 6, 7, 8, and 9. Are they in this universal set? 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, they are in this universal set. So we can write down the elements in set C. 6, 7, 8, and 9. Let us answer the question. What is A intersection B? Intersection means that we will look for the elements that are in both A and B that are common to set A and set B. 3 is in both sets. 5 is in both. 7 is also in both. So A intersection B has the element 3, 5, and 7. What about A union C? For A union C, we will combine the elements in A and C without repeating any one. We did that before. So let's combine everything here. In A, we have 2, 3, 5, 7. Here we have 6, 7, 8, 9. So if we combine everything, we have 2, 3, 5, 6. Let's write it accordingly. 7, 8, and 9. This is A union C. Let's determine A union C complement. A union C prime. Before we can determine A union C complement, we need to know the element in the set C complement. This is set C. So what is C complement? The complement of a set is the 
set of all elements in the universal set, but not in that set. So the complement of set C, which is C complement, is the set of all elements that are in this universal set, but are not in set C. So which elements are here that are not here? Let's locate them. Okay, in set C, we have 6, 7, 8, 9. 6, 7, 8, 9. So if we remove 6, 7, 8, 9, we'll be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10. This is C complement. I hope you understand this. The element in the universal set that are not in that set C is the complement of set C. A union C complement is the union of A and C complement. We combine all elements together without repetition. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. Here we have 2, 3, 5, 7. So combining it, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 10. So the last one, A intersection B complement. A intersection B complement is the set of all elements in the universal set that are not in A intersection B. So which elements are here that are not in A intersection B? In A intersection B, we have 3, 5, and 7. Remove 3, 5, and 7. What do we have left? We have in 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. This is A intersection B complement. This is how to solve questions involving set builder notation. You must understand the problem and you must be able to interpret it. All right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video to your friends and to your classmates.